Hello guys and girls, welcome to this video where we go over how to debug your Lambda from Cloud9. This is a pretty handy feature because there is no way you can debug your Lambda from AWS Lambda console. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so to debug a Lambda, uh, you click this uh, debug mode button right here, the bug. All right, now uh, let's set a couple of breakpoints, right? So you can right click on the line and put add breakpoint or add conditional breakpoint. Uh, let's just do regular add breakpoint here uh, and then maybe put another breakpoint here. Okay, so uh, let's run it. So click run. Okay, all right, so as soon as I click run on debug mode. If you guys noticed, the AWS resources uh, tab went away and the debugger tab uh, got opened, right? Uh, I'm just gonna show us all the variables and everything. Let me expand this a little bit. Uh, so you can see that the code is running uh, and it's stopping currently at here. Let me resize this a little bit. Uh, let me move back so I can see a little bit. Okay, so here you can see if you hover over uh, your cursor, it shows the values of these variables, right? Uh, like any other um, IDE debugger mode, right? And then on the top right, on the on the um, upper section, so you have your resume. So if I click this, it's gonna go to the next bit point. Uh, and then you have step over, step into, step out, and deactivate all breakpoints. And you're gonna see all the breakpoints on the bottom section, right? Uh, so you can uh, enable or disable uh, from here as well. Uh, so let me click uh, resume, which is F8. So let's do that. Boom, now it came to uh, this line. Right, so now, uh, if you guys remember, longitude was not showing any value before because when the breakpoint was here, that means this line did not execute fully yet, right? But now uh, the breakpoint, the control is here. Uh, so obviously this is populated, uh, formatted address is populated, uh, right? And then if I click resume again, uh, it's gonna uh, execute the last line and get out of debug mode. Uh, so if I click this, there we go. So see how easy this is to debug uh, in Cloud9. Uh, and finally, let me go back to debugger and uh, deactivate all breakpoints. So there we go. Um, all right, guys, so see you in a bit. Uh, we're gonna go over conditional breakpoints and couple of advanced techniques. Thanks.